Hello students, I hope you have understood the previous topic. Today, we shall discuss about the processing of coal. How do we process coal? We cannot simply burn coal to obtain useful substances. When we burn coal directly, we obtain only heat, ash and carbon dioxide. All the useful compounds are lost. To obtain these useful compounds, we follow a process called as destructive distillation. Now let us understand destructive distillation. The process of heating a complex organic substance in the absence of air to break it into simpler volatile fractions is called as destructive distillation. When we burn coal by the process of destructive distillation, we obtain the following products. Coke, gas carbon, coal tar, ammonia liquor and coal gas. Let us understand this process through an activity. For this activity, we need the following apparatus, Bunsen burner, coal powder, test tube, glass tubes and conical flask. We will place coal pieces in a test tube and seal it with cork so that air will not enter into it. The powdered coal will be heated strongly till it changes into coke, a grey porous residue. Dark brownish black vapors are given out. Some carbon present in the vapor solidifies near the mouth of the hard glass test tube and is called as gas carbon. When these vapors are passed through water contained in a conical flask, a large amount of this condenses to form two distinct layers. The lower layer consists of black thick liquid and is called coal tar. The top clear layer contains ammonia liquor. A colorless gas bubbles out of the flask which is commonly called coal gas. It burns with yellowish flame when ignited. What are the uses of these byproducts? Coke is used as household fuel in the extraction of metals and for the manufacture of water gas and manufacture of graphite. Gas carbon is used for making positive electrodes. Coal tar can be used to get several products such as benzene, toluene, anthracene, phenol, etc. Ammonia liquor is used as an artificial fertilizer for making artificial fertilizer. Coal gas is used as industrial fuel as well as household fuel. Read page number 57 and 58 of your science textbook. Learn more about the uses of the above byproduct. Solve the answers of the assignment in the chemistry copy. Thank you.